Howdy folks, Nathan Adlin here and welcome to another episode of Ike Gauntlet Fully Loaded. Now we do this special for the car channel and that's because we're using vehicles that are technically not trucks. And this is one of them. This is the 2015 Range Rover LWB, long wheelbase. But more importantly, it's hauling, look at that, a 7,000 pound trailer. And coming up next, you're gonna see it take on the Ike Gauntlet. Now, okay, I got the timer. Yeah, we're already at speed limit. <laughs> this thing's fast. <laughs> Holy cow, so we got five liters of supercharged goodness, right? Yeah, yeah, this is, this is the same engine that they use in the Jaguar, right? Yeah, basically the same five liter supercharged V8. Um, here in this application, it's 510 horsepower and 461 pound-feet of torque. By the way, the torque is at 2,500 RPM. Yeah, Comes you can, right there. Yeah, which explains why once we got up to the sign, this thing was already hauling and nearly at speed limit 10 seconds later. So I'm guessing we're not gonna have any uh, speed issues. I mean, so going far, too no. Slow. <laughs> right? I have to, well, I'm backing off okay. in order to maintain speed limit. 510 horsepower, 461 pound feet of torque. This is a supercharged 5 liter V8 and it sounds magnificent. Now, you have an 8 speed automatic transmission and it feeds all four wheels, obviously, four wheel drive. Now, when you combine MPG, you get 16 miles per gallon, which you may say isn't very good, but if you compare it to a lot of other vehicles that are this size, it's actually not too terribly bad. It doesn't seem to care that it has a, that it's pulling its maximum weight pretty, pretty much within a, you know, a couple hundred pounds. And like, here's an example. I want to get past this guy. Yeah. I'll put my foot down. It bounced down two gears. Boom. Flew past him. And then I have to let up and just actually let it calm down because it was starting to really move. There's so no, no passing power, no shortage of power on passing. No shortage of power whatsoever. This is where supercharging or forced induction really comes into its own at high altitude, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, so you mix that with the fact that this vehicle is 700 pounds lighter than its predecessor. And it really just helps that the fact that it's, it's a big vehicle, mm -hmm. yet it's very light, and it's light on its feet. What's its uh, curb weight? So the base curb weight is 5320. That's on the V8, right? Yeah, on the V8 long wheelbase, which is what we're in here. Right. Um, so this is basically the biggest Range Rover you can get. Yep. Um, and one of the most elegant as well, I mean, in terms of- Luxurious uh, and everything yeah, else. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, the only thing that's above this, I think, is like, I think they call it the signature? No, the- um, Autobiography. Autobiography. Yes. It's a handsome brute, isn't it? It's kind of different with the longer wheelbase. And there are a couple things I wanted to let you know about. For one thing, I'm kind of bummed about this little plastic panel that has these three kind of vent-like things. It used to be something that was a little bit more bold and it looked like they were actual vents. So I'm not exactly keen on it, but with that being said, there are a few things that are very interesting, including these beautiful 21 inch wheels, which are clad in Goodyear Eagle rubber. Here's the problem, 21 inch is not exactly what you consider ideal for towing. Um, and that's that, but this one as it equipped is 118, $118,501. So it's it's actually the, probably the most expensive vehicle we've dealt with. It is the most expensive vehicle we've dealt uh, with. Pretty much. I can't think of anything more expensive. Now, so, sorry. No, so on the truck channel, we also we've used truck-based SUVs for towing at the I Gauntlet. Yeah. And we had three of them with the same trailer. Yep. And we're towing seven thousand pounds horse trailer with one water tote in there. So identical trailer. So we can have, we have some numbers to compare. All right, go for it. So we had the Navigator, which did the run in seven minutes, 30 seconds. Okay. With an MPG of 3.6. 
and then Yukon XL with 7 minutes 41 seconds, MPG 4.1, and then Infinity QX80, 8 minutes and 11 seconds, 3.9 MPG. All these vehicles were under $80,000. We are using a load distributing hitch, and that's important. The reason we're doing it is to keep everything nice and balanced. This trailer weighs about 7,000 pounds, and we're just over the 10% rating in terms of what we put on here. In other words, it's a little over 700 pounds on the tongue. Their maximum tongue weight is 551 pounds, which is an even close to the 10% that we would be pulling from the trailer. So it's strange that their maximum trailer load doesn't come anywhere near their maximum tongue weight. So, so we're kind of, kind of, we're, we're 30, almost plus. 30, 30,000 yeah. dollars plus uh, above those vehicles. Yeah, but those vehicles aren't quite in this class. I mean, right off the bat, I can think of a few Mercedes-Benz vehicles that are in this class. Like the GL? Right, yeah. and to a lesser extent, perhaps the Audi Q7. And those, those vehicles are much more expensive and are in this field, so to speak. The load in there, that is a full water container, plus we have these bricks as well. Grand total weight combined, 7,000 pounds. So, I mean, we have a horse trailer here. So, and the horse trailer itself weighs 4,500 pounds. Yep. So, if you put two horses in there, you'll be approximate, let's, you know, 7,000 pounds with gear. Yeah. So, you know, let's say, you know, and this is kind of what this vehicle would be used for, right? You know, if you need to get your horses to your next show or next practice or your outing, right? I absolutely agree. Um, Maybe the queen does this, right? <laughs> yeah, the, I'm sure the queen loves her own horses too. <laughs> Sorry, Your Majesty. What they did was they made things very simple, yet elegant. All of the stitching is top notch. All of the leathers are fantastic. The woods look good. And the coloring, I mean, you really do have three proper colors you're using here with the interior. And it's, oh God, I hate using the word, splendid. I'm truly impressed. The only issue so far is that there is no brake controller that comes standard with right. the vehicle. Um, and there's no setting in here to really enhance the brake controller. However, with that being said, and I did mention it earlier, but there is a system in here to enhance your your trailer control, and it works with braking, it works with the um, with the engine as well. Okay, we're coming up to our uh, stopping point. Okay, so and traffic's slowing down a little bit. Uh, okay, and. So like, we, I can see the lights. That's where we stopped the timer. Yeah, it's not. Oh man, everybody's going slow though. Although I think actually we are at speed limit. This is speed limit. Okay, so we're at speed limit. Well, now we're not. So we we hey, just passed seven thirty. Put the plate on that. Yeah. So we just passed seven thirty. Okay. And I think if we didn't slow down, we would have been right here at seven thirty. Seven minutes thirty seconds. And right now we are back. Okay, stop. stop. Yeah. Seven minutes, 48 seconds. It would have been seven minutes, 30 yeah, flat. Yeah, so we had about 18 second delay. Yeah. There. yeah there's road construction Which, here, so it's all going down to one lane. Right. And that's what... Um, okay, so average MPG, 4.4 miles per gallon. 4.4? Yeah, and that was uh, consistent all the way up the hill. So, you know, the other big truck-based SUVs, the best one was 4.1. Well, who was Which that? was the Yukon. The big, with the big V8. With a big 6.2. Yeah. So this did better than, than that, and did better than the EcoBoost and the Navigator, and also better than the Infiniti V8. There you have it, folks. A vehicle that actually surprised Andre and myself. It is a much better tow vehicle than we anticipated. Sure, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles of some tow rigs, but you know what? It did great. Very, very impressed. For the Fastlane Car, this is Nathan Adlin saying, don't forget to go to TFLcar.com for news, views, and real-world reviews. See you later. If you like the extreme Ike Gauntlet towing test, just click on the Escalade. We've run a lot of trucks and SUVs up the mountain. And please don't forget to subscribe to TFL Truck so that you can get the newest videos first. Thanks for watching and see you next time.